Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, a quick update on ACH. So, it is a very good sign that we got over this dotted line that we uh, drew here on the chart. This 4-1 area, we got stuck for about four days here. We finally got over it, and we're holding it as support. So, we're at 419. so we're holding our line here. Uh, like I said, that's a very good step in the right direction. Uh, the only thing on the chart that is concerning me is the third time we've come up and we're getting stuck. Uh, we broke this little downtrend, our little triangle move here. We broke it, held it as support, and we're moving higher. So we're still about right in here on our little our, our line here to play out. Uh, not to scale, of course. Um, so what to watch for? We could still get stuck where we are now or even come up to this 4-5 at this 1-6-1-8, get stuck, wick through it, and then ultimately pull back to our uptrend here and, and continue grinding higher. Uh, so, you know, nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody has a crystal ball. Um, so we could still end up grinding higher like this. When we eventually get over this 5-1 area at the top of this box, that's when we're going to start flying, in my opinion. So a slow grind up here. You know, we could still get stuck. Just be very cautious. If we do get stuck here or even where we're at now and we pull back, we really want to hold this uptrend. We really want to hold the 200 or the 21-day moving average and ultimately maybe even wick down to this 1414 again at 358. But we really want to watch the 21. We want to hold that. We want to hold this uptrend and we could still end up coming down, bouncing and moving back up a couple times back and forth, you know, between this 1618 and our 21 before we finally grind our way through this box here. But ultimately watch 45, you know, we may grind up here, get above this and eventually get above this box here. Uh, but we do not want to get stuck at the top of this box where we wick back here uh, and then come back all the way down. Uh, that would not be a good sign either. So uh, what I'm saying or what I'm getting at is if we get over 5-1, in my opinion, we, we should start moving higher with some fat green candles spawning in. If we do not, we come up here, we hold this as support, and we have some little rinky dink candles spawning in. We're kind of just sitting here. Uh, then we're probably going to end up falling off the table. We still have a bullish cross on the stock RSI here. MACD is going sideways. Uh, the RSI is kind of going sideways, I believe. Uh, let's look at the three-day um, stock RSI. It's still curled up, so we still got a lot of momentum to the upside. I just wanted to make an update so you guys are aware what to watch for. It still looks good, in my opinion, to grind higher. It's just it's just taking a very long time. Um, I did just do an update on Jasmine. Jasmine had some, you know, Jasmine broke resistance, broke out of its uh, downtrend, and it just kind of blasted off. That's what I want to see with ACH here. I want to see ACH get through resistance and actually have some fat green candles spawn in here uh, to get us up to this nine cent level that we are uh, looking at here. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll leave it at that. Really not much else to say. Let me pull up the regular RSI on the daily chart here to see what it is doing. Where is it at? Uh, RSI, there we go. So the RSI, yeah, it's curling down a little bit, but ultimately it's going sideways. But it is above the 50, and the MACD is above the zero. So those are very positive signs. And lastly, looking at the Haikanashi printing green still. Uh, maybe getting a little smaller here, but it's still pretty much the same size. No shadow, no wick. So um, ACH still has the trend to the upside here. So like I said, it still looks good. It's just grinding really slowly. Uh, like I said, it's very positive that we got over this line here and we, we're holding it as support. So as long as we hold this as support and ultimately our 21, we could still pull back and bounce and move higher. But ultimately, watch 4-5 to 5-1. This is our box to break. We need to break this and then we'll have some moves on our hands on ACH. But like I said, just watch it closely. I know this one's getting a little bit long, but just watch it very close. If we get stuck up in this box and come back down, there's a very good chance that that's... Uh, you know, double top, triple top, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to come down here and lose our, our uh, uptrend and start falling off the table. So also watch that. The moment we lose this uptrend, it's over and we're coming down. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave it at that. It's getting a little too long. Uh, I got to get to work. So hopefully if you need to rewind and uh, take all that in once again. But, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching, everyone. Not financial advice. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.